Hi, I've got an Outlander PHEV or FEV and uh, it's on charge outside uh, on my home charging point. Luckily I've got one because the other day this failed and by the uh, subtle method of wiggling about a bit I reckon that it's actually just a fatigue failure in the cable on this at this gland here. I'm going to open this up. Um, it looks like there's some screws and things on the back. Uh, I'm going to have a look and see what happens. I'm actually going to take the opportunity to replace the cable with this thing, 16 amp cable from um, just a caravan shop, uh, which gives me a 10 meter extension actually hardwired into the charger unit. So uh, let's see what happens. So the first thing is, those are tamper proof screws. So you need a Torx T8 hollow tip bit to actually get those screws out. They're not made of particularly strong metal, so take it steady. Uh, it sort of feels like they'd easily strip. Then it's just a question of working your way round. I think it's sealed with some sort of mastic onto some sort of a gasket but um, I used kitchen knives and just gradually worked my way around until I could prise the lid off. Took about 10 minutes actually. So this is what it looks like. Um, and this is what it looks like up the other end if it's the other part of the cable that's broken. There's actually a lot of current floating around here. So they use 3.2 millimeter ring crimp terminations for the cables to ensure a good connection the gland unscrews quite easily by hand. And now we come to undo the cable clamp. Um, it's a bit fiddly, the screws are a little bit covered by the circuit board, so take care because you don't want to be damaging that circuit board. Once you've done that, it's a great idea to actually label the connections. So now it's just a question of undoing the connections and extracting the cable backwards through the gland. Just in case you were wondering, Yup, there sure was, big break in the live. So match and cut the, the new cable lengths to the old cable. Um, getting in and out of the gland can be a little bit tricky, so a bit of silicon uh, lubricant might be helpful. Now's the time to crimp on the terminations and bolt it all back together. Getting the cable clamp in is quite tricky. Taping the screw to the end of an electrical screwdriver just gave me that access. Tighten up the gland, put the lid back on, put all the screws back in, being careful not to over tighten, and let's give it a test. Yay, it's working, and actually here we are, all fixed and charging the car as before.